Right. Hi, my name is Sarah Schrader, and I'm a sophomore at Scott Catholic. And this poem is titled Romeo's Dagger. I was never meant to be used. Romeo only had me for show. I mean, he's all about love. Upon my soul, I have never laid mine eyes to such a fair beauty as Rosaline. And then suddenly it's Juliet, don't teach the torches to burn right. Although I'm pretty sure he was not talking about the torches. Long story short, he spews a couple love poems and they get hitched. Their families weren't aware of their new relationship, however, so there were still a lot of brawls. He had to unsheath me to fight this guy named... but whatever it was, it sounded like dog food. And he killed it. With me. Stabbing someone is like getting water balloons filled with alcohol, hurled at you at 100 miles an hour from every angle, bursting on impact. It stings and it burns and it drowns. I was submerged in dog food boy's lower abdomen, writhing in his blood. Getting pulled out was almost worse than going in. It's like getting the wind knocked out of you so that you should black out, but you don't. All while this foreign red liquid is dripping from your shiny metal husk. The blood of that man will forever be inside of me, forever a testament to the fact that killing is not my strong suit. We left town shortly after that skirmish and was gone only a day before this guy came and told us that Juliet was dead. Sorrow just seemed to be written in the stars for us. We left for Verona shortly after that and picked up a couple groceries and were on our way. We made it to the tomb and he didn't touch her at first. It was as if touching her made it so much more real. But eventually he picked her up, held her and cried. I was pressed between their two bodies like some fatal joke. He pulled a small vial from the grocery sack, kissed her and drank it. Just like that. He was gone. I was alone. It's funny how everything slowed down and all the small memories came back. Everything looked watery. Until she started to stir. Everything snapped back into focus. She looked at Romeo, shook him, kissed him. Nothing worked, just like I knew nothing would. Blade against leather, heart against soft, hand against hilt, she shakily extracted me from my leather casing, my one physical connection to Romeo, to his protection. I was without a master, she without a husband. It seemed only right that we would have a future together, however short. No one has to suffer loss alone. I think that's what we thought we had to prove. That we had something to offer each other, that through pain we prove our loyalty and our love. The loyalty that drives what we do and the love that defines who we are. I was never meant to be used, but when she took me in her hand and I shone in the torchlight, I knew what would happen. And that was the most purposeful home I was ever placed in.